This is a busy season for a Grinch called Porch Pirates, who still deliver packages. In fact, 260 million packages disappeared from porches across America in the past year. And here to help stop these criminals is SafeWise.com safety expert, Rebecca Edwards. Good morning, Rebecca. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. So, okay, let's get into this. And I mean, how bad is this porch pirate? And where are the worst places that we've seen this so far? Yeah, unfortunately, porch piracy is a crime that just continues to rise, and we don't see any signs that the porch pirates are slowing down. Uh, we took a look at major metros across the country, and the top three worst spots this year for package thieves is San Francisco, Seattle, and Austin, Texas. Wow, that's amazing. Let's talk about the support, and how did you guys come up with all this and find all this information out? Yeah, we joined with a criminologist and researcher, Dr. Ben Stickle and Vivint Smart Home to talk to thousands of Americans across the country and find out how much are they worrying about porch piracy, um, what are they doing about it, and you know, how much is it affecting you know, their day-to-day -day life or their online shopping dreams. <laughs> and we discovered, we also looked at larceny crime rates and online searches for lost or stolen package. And so places that have a lot of theft and a lot of searches for stolen packages ended up at the top of our list. Wow. Now, is this happening in the suburbs or is it more like in the urban areas? It's actually pretty ubiquitous in both urban and suburban areas. But the thing about suburban areas is these areas are kind of built for porch pirates because you have tiny you know, rows of houses all in a line. And um, houses that are within 25 feet of the street are struck most often. So the suburbs are kind of built for this. Porches have easy access. You can see right from the street if there is a package waiting. And it's easy in, easy out um, to make your escape. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, how can we figure out if we are a, a target for porch, for porch pirates? One of those big things to look for again is how close is your porch from the street? And do you have packages that are being delivered and left out in the open unattended for a long time. Those are going to be the biggest signifiers. Also, if it's signs that there's nobody at home, cars that aren't moving, um, if you leave your curtains or blinds open during the day and there's no activity in your house, um, that's just a neon sign inviting those porch pirates up. Oh, got it, okay. Um, let's talk about ways that people can stop porch pirates. Some of the best things that you can do are cheap and easy, which is nice. And you can sign up for delivery alerts so that you know when those packages are coming. Um, request um, to require a signature upon receipt. That means they have to put that package in your hands. They can't just drop it on the porch. And we also recommend taking advantage of proactive, innovative technology. And we've all seen doorbell cameras, uh, footage where the person walks up, they put their hat over their head and take the package anyway. So Vivint is adding more proactive measures to their outdoor cameras. Lights that flash and kind of have a strobing effect, uh, whistles, pre-recorded messages that say, hey you, um, you know, things like that that startle the thief and get them to run off before they take your package. And that's the end goal. How do we make a safety community plan? Yeah, about half of the people we talked to who had a package stolen activated their neighbors so that they were all working together to try to get rid of porch pirates and protect their packages. Sometimes if there's someone who's home during the day that could receive the packages, they can sort of be like a neighborhood captain. That's a good idea because things won't be left out unattended. We've also seen um, a lot of neighborhoods taking advantage of apps like Nextdoor or the Ring Neighbors app where they can inform each other of things that are going on and you know even create like a, a group messaging um, setup where you can let you know Sally down the street know that you won't be home for two hours and your package just arrived could she grab it for you. So pulling together is a really great way to uh, get ahead of the porch pirates. Yeah, I think so, and I think it's awesome that you're bringing this to us uh, and bringing us aware because some people forget as they start to do the shopping uh, that they're out there. So how can we find out more information? Yeah, go to safewise.com. We've got more tips, the full ranking of the cities, and um, a lot more advice about what you can do. Perfect. Rebecca, thank you very much. Thank you.